This time, first thing we need to do is calculate total cash compensation costs. It's equal to one and a half employees multiplied by $50,000 in average salary. Tells me I would have $75,000 in cash compensation costs. We need to add to that, though, the costs of the one employee who's going to get benefits. So that one employee, open a parenthesis, gets $50,000 on average, and they're going to get a, sorry, I use that plus. They're going to get a $50,000 salary, and then they'll get, why do you keep doing that? Oh, I see it down there. Never mind. Times the 30% benefits cost. Now I see what it's doing. So look at my formula. It's one and a half employees times the average of 50,000 plus then the average of 50,000 multiplied by the benefits rate, $90,000 it costs to support our president. It was 97, but we took, we stole the benefits away from our part-time employee. Okay. Now, a third component then, first thing that we gave to the CEO was people to support them, $90,000. The next thing that a CEO has to have is a discretionary budget, monies that they can spend on things like if they want to have an alumni event or if they need to go ahead and buy themselves a G5 plane or whatever. Breezy, what's up? What I did here was I did not apply both employees to the benefit rate. So it's B13 times B14. That's compensation plus B14 times B50. That's benefits just for one person. Last thing we have to do then to calculate total departmental costs is add in the discretionary budget so that we can see that in total, the CEO is going to cost us 290 grand to be supported on top of the 775 grand that they make for themselves. Next then, now let's figure out what the finance department's going to cost us. It's two employees making $125,000 in cash compensation plus they need benefits. Two employees multiplied by 125, which is the average, multiplied by the benefits rate. So in every case, all we're doing in there is we're first figuring out cash compensation. Then we're figuring out how much additional cash will we have to pay to buy them their benefits. Because we gotta buy insurance. From that then, we're gonna add again the amount of their discretionary budget and the finance department then should cost us $325,000. Now, because the same approach, we got no other part-timers we need to exclude, we should be able to copy and paste that across to get to us the entire costs by department of having staffs with budgets. And then over here, when I was showing you guys this, we can copy and paste that to get rid of it. C-17, he said. Well, then that must mean you're doing something wrong. His numbers are the same as mine, and he's a goalie, so he's my last line of defense. What would you like me to do? Just keep it like that, okay. Should I stop recording at this point? No, let it roll. Oh boy, Patrick. You're good? She's got the same numbers as me too. For which one? 